How's it going to Alkalix here? Today I'm going to be doing another Photoshop touch tutorial. Now, today we're going to be doing a little bit different style, that type of technique. Um, we're going to be using a different app, but it's still going to be Photoshop touch tutorial. But we're just going to use this because it's kind of like a addition. You don't have to do this first step, but if you want to make it look a lot better with different fonts, then go ahead and download the app. The name is going to be put on the face of your, right in front of your face. It's called Fonto. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna teach you guys what to do. So here we are. Um, this is actually what you see. This is the uh, the beginning loading screen of Fonto. You're gonna press this little weird camera thing. And you're gonna press plain image. Now we're gonna click on the little gray box. We're gonna change the dimensions to iPhone 6 Plus because it's the most um, biggest dimensions. Now we're gonna change the color to black and we're gonna press apply the little weird thing there and the uh, usage, I mean use. <laughs> What am I saying? And uh, so here we are, and we're gonna press in the middle of the screen, press add text, and then here you're pretty much gonna make the line to center, and you're gonna write whatever you want. This is usually where you're gonna pull like survival games, or if you're making a logo, just make the logo for that, but here we are, we're just gonna write like hello, or some, some dumb little message like that. Press done, and make sure you make the move, and uh, make it towards the center. And we're gonna go ahead and save it by pressing this and pressing the save image but I've already saved something in my folder so we're gonna go ahead and I'll see you guys in the Photoshop touch thing so here we are in Photoshop touch for the sake of this video to make it a lot better make this um, 1920 by 1080p um, pretty much what that is it's the uh, 1080p uh, version for YouTube so in other words it's kind of like the most HD you can get with YouTube so you're gonna press OK and uh, you'll be prompt with this super HD lagginess. You're gonna press the little uh, bottom right plus thing and press photo layer. Now I've already got something saved in my albums. Um, as you can see here, it's gonna slowly load. I already have the survival games thing loaded. So we're gonna go ahead and use that for the sake of this video. Once it's up here, we're gonna press a little check. Wait for that to load. We're gonna go here to the uh, wand selection tool select all the black you do not want any black in this because you're gonna make this kind of like a sticker the, the way that I see PNG is I kind of look at it as kind of like a sticker you know you can place it on things and uh, it'll kind of just it you know it's it's just a sticker in other words I don't really know how to explain it we're pretty much just gonna go here uh, to the top left and press clear um, and there you go make sure your uh, tolerance is around 50 to 100 because that's the basic. Now as you can see here, there's still, bleh, there's still some little black parts that we do not want. So the way that I get rid of those, those pesky little black parts, we're gonna go to the effects, the tint, we're gonna change the color to black, and change the luminosity all the way to zero. As you can see, it made the whole entire text block that's normal, pressed a little check mark. We're gonna go to this little like level thing and we're gonna press invert. Now as you can see, everything is completely white. There is no black whatsoever, meaning that we've pretty much got it perfect. Now we're gonna go back up to effect, filter, or um, tint I mean, and we're gonna change the color to some random color. Now I like red, so we're gonna go ahead and make it red. Press the check mark, and this is actually the key point. This is the, the main reason why you're here. Uh, the effects, uh, we're gonna go back to effects and uh, go to bevel. And as you can see here, we're going to change the blur to exactly 10. And we're going to go down here, there are these little small little arrows, and we're going to change the distance to 5. And even though it doesn't really do much of a difference, it does. So, um, press a little check, and you're going to go back up to this, um, I forgot what they call this, but it's like the and sign. Um, and we're going to go to fill and stroke, and change the fill thing to a stroke. Change the color to black and the width to one. As you can see, we pretty much kind of created our own sexy little survival games logo. So yeah, that's all I really needed to teach you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, use this to your advantage, you know, always make sure you use this. It's kind of like a technique to make your text look a little bit sexier, a little bit better. I'm pretty much just adding these small little effects so you guys can um, Kind of see how I worked, but uh, you know, it's 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 it's, 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 it's a sexy little um, text 
thing as you can see it looks kind of 3d bubbly type of thing but yeah so yeah hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did hit that like button down below and i'll see you guys in the next one later dude